The Nigerian government has approved the resumption of domestic flight as soon as practicable in line with existing international and local guidelines on COVID-19. Chairman of the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19, Boss Mustafa, who made this known at its bi-weekly briefing on Monday, said Nigerians should expect a hike in airfare. He said the resumption of flight operations would come in with an increase in airfare. He explained that the increment of products and services was not peculiar to the aviation sector. According to him, prices of things have surged since the virus outbreak. Nigeria shut its airport except for essential flights in March as the country began to grapple with the coronavirus pandemic, which has cost over 500 deaths in the country. Chris Ndulue, CEO, Clean Serve Energy, and former MD Arik Air joins us now. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much. Let's start by asking how the industry has fared in the last three months with no activity. Well, it's been a very difficult time for the aviation industry in the past uh, three months. Obviously, it's something that has not been experienced before. The industry has been in a state of coma, kind of. And um, it's one thing that um, has challenged the industry so much. And um, all the industry operators and um, all the industry um, participants have to do a lot to be able to come out of this pandemic. Because uh, as you may know, the aviation industry is a very fragile one. And what has happened is something that um, presents a very big challenge to the industry. Do you think all the stakeholders have crossed their T's and dotted their I's well enough to resume flight? Or do you think it is too early? Uh, first, I don't think it's too early. I think that um, uh, a lot has been done. I. I also know that um, the federal, um, the federal Ministry of Aviation, as well as the Nigeria Civil Aviation Authority, the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria, and all the airlines have done a lot of work in preparation for resumption of flight operations, because no airline can actually survive without flying operations. And um, what has happened in the past three months is um, something that people the airlines need to get back to business as quickly as possible. And I think that Nigeria has done well in terms of responding to the COVID-19. And that's, all, that's also happening. Um, a lot of care is being taken in trying to reopen the airports and make sure that um, we resume flight operations. I think they're taking enough care. I see that a lot has been done at the airport. So I think that it's not too early. I, um, some are describing some of the protocols that has been outlined as cumbersome, uh, like the airline saying that passengers must arrive at the airport at least three hours before a local flight. Yeah, the, the protocols are not too much. Um, you, you realize that the protocols are just focused on making sure that there is no transmission between individuals at the airport. And um, it's something that can be done, you know, without taking, it's not gonna take additional time as much as that, provided people just comply and do the right thing at the airport. But I think that um, it's not, doesn't, doesn't warrant additional um, more than 30 minutes, you know, at the airport. If that happens, um, the fact that you are giving space between you and the, and the person in front of you, does not mean that you do not get service as quickly as you, as you should get service. So once people comply and do the right things and follow the protocol that have been laid down by the airport authorities, um, as well as the, the presidential tax code, I think that um, the delays will be minimal. All right, uh, just to wrap things up quickly, um, how high do you think the fair hike will be? Because uh, the PTF has said there will be an, an increase in the amount people pay for air tickets. Yes, but at the same time, it's a deregulated market. I think that uh, the airlines will have to decide what they're going to charge. Well, um, the market is not strong. It doesn't, it's not in a position to support um, um, serious increases in fare. 
But yes, the airlines are taking some additional costs, so they, they will likely pass those costs to the to the passengers. But I don't think that um, that's some, it's not going to see the five or ten percent of what's uh, it's not going to see five percent of what used to be the cost of airfares. But it's something that the airlines uh, have to decide. Some airlines may not increase their fares because, as as you know, the, the the response is going to be slow. As soon as the airports are opened, not many people will uh, rush to the airport to fly. So I expect okay. that the passenger numbers are going to be very low um, in the in the in the first two three months before right. people get comfortable and begin to fly. Thank you so much. Uh, your thoughts on the news.